Hello and welcome to another video on indices and in this video we're going to be looking at what happens when we raise something to the zero power. So for example what is 2 to the power 0, 3 to the power 0, 10 to the power 0 and in fact anything to the power 0. So let's go through these first few examples and hopefully something might uh, jump out at you. So 2 to the power 0, you may be tempted to write 0 as your answer because you might be thinking well this is 2 times 0 but this is not 2 times 0. So 2 to the power 0 is in fact 1 and I'm going to explain why the answer is 1 in a few minutes time. 3 to the power 0, well that is also 1 and you may be seeing where this is going. 10 to the power 0, well that is also 1. So why on earth is the answer 1 and in fact anything to the power 0 is 1. So to explain this um, I've got a few different ways I can explain it. The first way I'm going to do it is I'm going to start with something a bit simpler. So let's start with something like 2 to the power 4 and then we're going to work backwards until we get to 2 to the power 0 and you should be able to spot a pattern. So what is 2 to the power 4? Well 2 to the power 4 just means 2 multiplied by itself 4 times. So it's going to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 which is, well 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16. So 2 to the power 4 is 16. Well let's think about now what is 2 to the power 3. Well that is just going to be 2 times 2 times 2 which is 8. Now let's try 2 squared or 2 to the power 2. Well that's just 2 times 2 which is 4. And finally we've just got 2 to the power 1. Well that is, just means we've got 1 2 which is 2. Now, forgetting about this at the moment, let's just focus on these on these um, these four um, answers here. Hopefully, you can spot a pattern which is jumping out, and that pattern is that each time we're going down a power, we are dividing by two, or you could say we're halving. So to go from sixteen to eight, we're halving. To go from eight to four, we're halving. To go from four to two, we are halving. So it looks like that whenever we reduce our power by 1 or our index by 1, we half the number. So the logical thing to do would be to, when we reduce this number by 1, we half this number. Half of 2 is 1. So that is why 2 to the power 0 is 1. And in fact, it would work for any of these. So let's just have a look at 3 to the power 0. Let's start off with 3 to the power 4. Well, that's 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, and I know that that's 81. You might need to do a bit of working out, but that is 81. Now let's look at 3 cubed. Well, 3 cubed is 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is just 9. And then finally, 3 to the power 1, well, that is just 3. Well, that is just 3. And again, this time, instead of dividing by 2, to go from 81 to 27, we're dividing by 3, because this is just one less 3 than this one. To go from 27 to 9, we're dividing by 3. Divide by 3, so if we follow the same pattern, do 3 divided by 3, we still get 1. So both ways, we get 1 as our answer. And it doesn't matter which base we choose, as long as we're dividing by the same number each time, we will always get to an answer of 1. So I won't go through this last one, but if you want to uh, have a go at doing it yourself, hopefully when you do the same pattern each time, you will get to 1 as well. And you can see here that as we go down the powers, we're just dividing by 10 each time until we get to 10 divided by 10, which is also 1. So I've just shown you that anything to the power 0 is 1, and that also includes variables. So for example, if we had g to the power 0, well again, that would also equal 1. Or we could even say Beavis from Beavis and Butthead to the power 0, well that will also equal 1. And I hope you like my drawing of Beavis here. Now I've shown this to be true using one method up here. Um, but the great thing about maths is that there's usually more than one way of showing something. So I'm going to show you another method of proving that anything to the power 0 is 1. And this relates back to a previous video that I've done on dividing numbers with the same base. And let me show you what I mean by that. Now let's say that we wanted to calculate 2 to the power 3 divided by 2 to the power 3. Well, 2 to the power 3 is 8. 
So we're just going to do 8 divided by another 8. And we know that whenever we divide anything by itself, we always get an answer of 1. Now, how does this all relate to the power 0? Well, if you think back to one of my previous videos on dividing numbers with the same base, what happens to our indices when we divide numbers with the same base? Well, we subtract them. So 2 to the power 3 divided by 2 to the power 3 is exactly the same as 2 to the power of 3 minus 3, which is 0. So we can see that 2 to the power 0 is exactly the same as 1. OK, let's do one more example, but this time let's use a variable just to show that it works with anything. So let's say we wanted to calculate a to the power 4 divided by a to the power 4. Well, it, we don't know what these are individually, but we know that they're the same. And we know that whenever we divide something by itself, we always get 1. So we know our answer is 1 because we're dividing something by itself. But then if we think back to our laws of indices, a to the power 4 divided by a to the power 4, well, that's going to be a to the power of 4 minus 4, which is 0. So again, anything to the power 0 will always be 1. So I've shown you two completely different ways of proving that anything to the power 0 is 1. So hopefully that all made sense. But if it didn't, don't worry too much. Just remember that anything to the power 0, apart from 0, is always 1. I'll see you soon.